My name's Kayla. And my name is Kaylin. Today we're going to take a sneak peek into the life of the froggy friends here at Schminkly. We're going to learn how to hop like a frog, eat like a frog, sing like a frog, <laughs> through some hoptastic songs and activities. But first, what is a frog? Do you know? How about a song to help you remember? I'm a little froggy, hear me croak. I'm really slimy and it's no joke. I breathe through my skin and just hop in. Into the water I swim, swim, swim. You can find my eggs in big oak clumps. Sometimes strands, sometimes lumps. When I hatch out, I look like a fish. And I have a tail go swish, swish, swish. In a few weeks, my legs will sprout. Grow and grow till they're all stretched out. I'm a little froggy, yeah, that's me. Come hear me sing at Good Schmeekly. Wow, we're really good singers. I wonder if we're as good as the frogs here at Schmeekly. Yeah, I think we're close, but the frogs in Schmeekly sound a little bit different, remember? Oh yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> frogs in Schmeekly can sound like anything from bells to ducks chuckling. Uh, there are different frogs here in Schmeekly and all throughout Wisconsin, and they come out at different times in the year. In this video that we're about to show you, it shows you the time of the year that the frogs show up on top or when they're most common, and then it's going to play all the different frogs that are listed. Try and pick out which frog you can hear the best and try to describe in the comments below what you think that frog sounds like. I think I need a snack. What do frogs eat? What are some froggy snacks we could find? I think I'm in the mood for some worms. Oh, hey there. You're probably wondering what I'm doing, huh? Well, by doing this, I'm creating a signal down below telling the worms that it's time to come to the surface because there's rain up here. Whenever it rains, you might notice that the worms come all the way to the top and it's because they can't handle all the water down there. So by this simulating raindrops, it's going to bring them running. To get these worms running to you as fast as they were running to Kayla, all you need to do is find a bumpy stick or have an adult at home help you create notches or bumps in the stick by filing into them. In this activity, all you will need to bring the worms to the surface is just two sticks and patience. Once the notches are filed down, find an open patch of soil. It's important to clear away any grass, leaves, or anything covering the surface of the soil so it will be easier to see the little wormy snacks peeping out. Once the soil is cleared away, shove the bumpy stick pretty far into the soil or the dirt. Then start rubbing the other stick on the bumps. It does take a little while for the worms to travel to the surface, so don't get discouraged if you don't see any right away. Wow, it looks like we caught a lot of worms. So now that we know how to get our froggy snacks, how do we eat our froggy snacks like our froggy friends? Our froggy friends that we're talking about, um, they don't have the same throat muscles that you and I do. So our froggy friends actually need to use a different part of their body to swallow their food because they also don't chew their food. So when they're eating, um, instead of using their teeth like we do, they will actually just um, hold the worm with their hands and kind of thrash their head around like this. And then our froggy friends, will, if you notice, will always have their eyes on top of their head like my buns. And that is uh, actually how they swallow their food. So our froggy friends, since they don't have the same throat muscles that we do, will actually use their eyes on top of their head and suck those into their body and use their eyeballs to push their food down their throat. And that's how our froggy friends eat. We're pretty lucky that we don't do that. That would make eating at the dinner table really awkward if we all sucked our eyeballs in to eat. And we sure are full. 
from eating all those wormy snacks. But now we have to burn off all this worm weight. I wonder how frogs burn off their worm weight. Well, I bet frogs like to play froggy games to burn off their worm weight. Do you know about any games that frogs like to play? Hmm. Did you say leapfrog? That's a great froggy game! I bet frogs are great at playing leapfrog because they have long legs and big feet to help them push up and off the ground and they have really strong muscles in their legs that help them jump really high. Does anyone know what a frog jump looks like? Does it look like this? Uh, no, no, you're right, no, it doesn't look like that. It probably looks more like this. Right, Kayla? That's what it looks like? I think so. No, that's not what it looks like? Well, I guess I don't know what a froggy looks like when they jump. Can you show me your froggy jump? Wow! Wow, you're very good! Wow, you're all so good at jumping like frogs! If I'm, if I'm seeing this right, and if I'm doing it like you were doing it, we need to crouch down like a frog and put our hands on the floor like this, and then we need to lift up like a frog, just like that. See, I knew we were doing the same thing. So now that we know how to hop like a frog, how do we play like a frog? <laughs> Frog, you're gonna need at least two people. More if you have them. You might want to ask someone at home if they'd like to play with us. Feel free to pause the video if you have to go find them. Do you have your partner or partners? Fantastic, my froggy friends! Now we can play. So one froggy has to be crouched on the ground, and the other has to be standing behind them. Then, the one standing behind has to put out their hands onto the crouched froggy's back, and then gently hop over the crouched froggy's back, and then crouch in front of them, and then repeat. This is a really good game to play outside on a warm, sunny day. Remember, you need at least two other froggy friends to play. So, if you're going to go to Schmeekly and try to find your own froggy friends, you're going to need to know what to do if you actually find one. Our froggy friends have very, very sensitive skin. They have really sensitive skin. And it's not like sensitive skin for you and me where they get all red and itchy. Their sensitive skin actually allows them to breathe and drink through their skin. So, whatever you have on your hands, be it sweat, lotion, or any other chemicals, maybe hand sanitizer, if you pick up your froggy friend, then all of that bad is going to go into their skin and make them sick. So if you're going to uh, pick up any of your froggy friends, you're going to want to wash off your hands or rinse your hands off with some water really, really well um, to prevent any, um, or to try and prevent any other harmful things getting into that froggy friend's skin. Also make sure that if you're going to pick up a froggy friend that you are going to do it gently because they are a significantly smaller than you and I and you could actually crush them. Um, they are a bit hard to find uh, in Schmeekly as they're going to usually be in the water. So we recommend that you stay on the boarded path and if you see a froggy friend in the water, just leave it be as they're probably doing some pretty, import pretty important froggy friend work. So if you wanna find your own froggy friends and maybe play leapfrog with one or two, come down to Schmeekly and hike the trails. There's a good chance you might hear them singing or even see one or two. Thank you.